Hey guys, this is Heidi. I just wanted to show you what we're going to do to make this sports button. So these are my two foam pieces that I have. If you notice, I took an X-Acto knife and I cut out where the pin goes through on both circles. This black piece is going to eventually glue and sandwich between some of the ribbons. So you want both of your holes to align and match up on both pieces. All right, so let's get started. So this is my wide ribbon. You can see I notched out my edges. To do that, you can just fold the ribbon in half and cut here from center out to edge and it'll give you that cute little point. So this is where I'm just gonna take my stapler and start stapling around. And you kinda just want your um, edges to touch I am not a perfectionist, guys, so I promise when all this gets on there, it's going to all tie together really good. So for time saving, I went ahead and just pre-cut all my ribbon pieces. good trick for your cut ribbon too is you can get some of this fray um, they sell it at Walmart or any fabric store and it's like a fray stop product and it keeps your ribbon from fraying on the ends depending on how long you want to keep this um, you can also use a lighter to heat up the the edges just run a quick lighter around the edges of the cut ribbon and that'll keep it from fraying as well all right so that's our base coat and then we're gonna come back in with an accent ribbon. You can see that I pre-cut. I used a leopard. Use whatever makes you happy. This is where you, you can add some coordinated ribbon, something that speaks to your personality or your son. I like leopard. And there are five pieces for this, so we're just gonna lay these out kind of symmetrically around just to give you an idea. And then you can go back and staple those on. Let's see, I think I'm gonna bring this one down here. So two at the top, three at the bottom like that, okay? And like I said, this does not have to be perfect. This will all get anchored down kind of with some glue at the end of our craft to hold it all together, but we just want these staples to hold it in place. So voila, this is a wired ribbon that I used for the leopard. So you can curl it if you want, give it some texture. Um, all right, so our next step is gonna be another um, patterned ribbon. I used this cute chevron and I'm gonna bring it and just put it between the leopard pieces. So we'll go ahead and staple those on. did not notch these edges. I just like the flat edge on the chevron piece. You can do whatever you like. And um, I can't wait to see what fabrics or what ribbon patterns you guys come up with for your coordination.
right, fun. So this is what it looks like. Now we're going to go and add these petal pieces um, that I referred to. So I went ahead and curled my petal piece here. I did that for all of my pieces just to save some time. So these are my petals that I'm going to use. They're going to be the inside layer. Let me show you how you did that or how I did that. So you're going to take that piece and curl it here. Kind of make a little button for it. And I'm going to staple that on itself just at the very tip. Make sure you get your staple kind of at the bottom because you don't want that to show out from underneath the um, ribbon. This is where we're going to bring the glue gun in. So for this, we're just going to alternate our um, petals, is, is what I called them. And you're going to bring these pretty close in because the button's going to rest on top and you don't want your staples showing. Okay, so you can just take a little drop of glue here and place that. Don't burn your fingers. Biggest challenge of this. Just kind of space them out. We're going to have um, coordinated pieces going in between. And for this, you just want to make sure that the um, button will cover the staple. So just bring them far enough in that the button's going to cover the staple and the little petal will stick out, stick out from underneath it. Okay, now we're going to go back and layer our gold pieces in. I like a glitter. When you're picking your ribbon for this um, project, I like, I like a lot of variation. Um, my inspiration for this were kind of like the Texas homecoming mums that they do in Texas. They are extravagant. If you haven't seen those, Google it on Pinterest or something. They are amazing. So. A little bit of gaudy is fun here, I think. And it shows a little bit of personality, okay? All right, so I have all of those glued on. I do not have my button here with me today. If I did, the button nestles right in the middle here, guys. I know we don't have our buttons in yet. Um, by uh, by leaving the pinhole open here, you can nestle your last year's button in here. And when you get this year's button, you can replace it. And if you wanted to, you could hot glue it on if you wanted a permanent product. So let your glue dry for just a second. And then we're going to flip that over. And I'm going to take that second foam piece and I'm going to hot glue it to the back to just kind of make it look like a finished product. So just give us a line of glue around the outside of that, maybe the inside too to hold that closed for you. Line that up. Push both edges together. And there you have it. You have a fun little blinged out button holder. Put your sports button in the middle there. Now, um, I mentioned in the um, materials that you could add like a little accent piece. I have a, a cowbell on mine like this. It actually rings when I walk, so that might drive some people crazy. Um, I have a little bag. You can get those. That's, the whole bag was like $2.99. Um, here's an idea. You could add a football to the bottom of it or either put some ribbon on this and hang it off the bottom. You could write your player's number on it. There's all kinds of cute little things at Hobby Lobby or Michaels that you could add to this. Um, it just depends on how big and how amazing you wanna make it. Like I said, you should Google some of those, um, the mums, the Texas homecoming mums. They're pretty incredible. So I'm just gonna add a little cowbell here to this one. with the accent ribbon that I have. And once again, you just staple this on. The thicker this gets, the harder it gets to staple. But that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll staple that there and um, 
that would be my finished product. Can't wait to see what you guys make. Happy senior year, moms. Enjoy.